Imagine you've just been dumped and you're feeling like the most lonely guy in the world. That's how one New Yorker felt, despite being surrounded by 8 million people. So, Jeff decided to put his phone number on a flyer and see if anyone would call. If anyone wants to talk about anything, call me. This piece of paper would change Jeff Ragsdale's life forever. I think putting up my flyer was like my message to the world. After being dumped, Jeff was lonely and depressed and desperately wanted someone to talk to. Turns out thousands of other people felt the same. I live here alone and think of myself as being in a city of so many people and yet I am truly alone. After Jeff put up his flyer across New York, it went viral online. Soon he'd received more than 150,000 calls, texts and voice messages. And I've become like a confession booth, a relationship counsellor, sex therapist. Jeff's call out for a friend turned into a book called One Lonely Guy and a reality show where Jeff meets up with strangers who called him. One guy, one flyer. Now people all over the country are being noticed. But the best part, Jeff's no longer a lonely guy. Jeff joins us now from Los Angeles. Jeff, morning to you. It just underlines the fact there are a lot of lonely people out there, aren't there? Oh, there are indeed. What I'm finding with the digital age is that so many people are lonely. We think we're more connected with all the devices we have, but it's in a way pushing people away. We're more isolated. And when I put up this mm. flyer, people just started calling. They just wanted to talk, you know, hear that voice instead of typing into a keyboard or into a phone, a text. Mm. Jeff, this might be a double-edged sword, though, because obviously, you know, if you're putting your phone number out there, it might be a bit of an emotional roller coaster with all of these people calling and putting all their stuff onto you. I mean, they all might be in different states of despair. How do you handle that? Well, it's been difficult at times for sure. And I just learned I had to take time off and, you know, really find what I need to do for myself first, because if I, I haven't helped myself, I'm not going to be able to help anyone else. So first I would help myself and, and really replenish myself. Then, you know, I would take on other people's issues and kind of deal with it. And, you know, it proved therapeutic. It was both ways reciprocal. You know, they mm -hmm. would help me by getting me out of my head. I would help them by talking about their problems. So it went both ways. You know, pretty incredible. Well, what's the strangest call you've ever answered? I mean, there have been so many thousands of strange ones. What I would say is one of the coolest by far is an Australian story. In Sydney, a group of high schoolers would call me every day at their lunch break out on recess and, and make sure I was okay. They'd pass the phone around. It was incredible. Aww. And then other strange calls were... I have hundreds of hours of voicemails where people, believe it or not, would tell me their entire life stories on a voicemail. They'd never even talk to me. I mean, it's, it's mind boggling, but people want to connect. People are lonely. And I feel, you know, little things like this can change the world. You know, it can connect us more. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? How... Because yeah. social know, media friends are so shallow, aren't they? Well, it that can it... be, but also, I mean, you know, if, even if you... you that everybody needs someone to talk to, and whether that yep. be your friends or your family or whoever. Um, when you started this project, for want of a better word, you, you'd just been dumped. You said you were in a state of depression. Have you since found love? I'm working through that. I know I really have to work on myself, which I'm doing. But another thing on your point is I found people, there are certain things they can't tell their family, they can't tell their friends. So this was anonymous in a way so they really unloaded on me and i wish there were more apparatuses like this because indeed people sometimes don't even tell their therapists their real secrets you know and i think that stuff they carry on them and in the long run it really affects them so mm. it's amazing that people needed a channel like this just to tell somebody their their real skeletonal secrets in a way yeah it is really interesting. Well, good on you, Jeff. You take well care of yourself because it's mm. a lot to take on. But, yeah, good on you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Okay. There you go. Cool, Jeff. Um, now, a woman's incredible weight loss caught on camera has...